Hi, <laughs> my name is Courtney, and uh, I was just checking around on YouTube, and I saw that there are about a million videos for and by anorexics, and I said, well, why the hell not? I want one, too. So, here I am. Uh, <laughs> around this time last year, I weighed about 140 pounds. Now, today, I weigh 88 pounds. Now, that's obviously not... Uh, send me to the hospital skinny sounds like right but uh let me tell you what they're sending me to the damn hospital uh <laughs> anorexia is such an insane thing um it kind of sneaks up on you and bites you in the ass i mean you start out as a fat ass right and you know you feel bad about yourself you're like oh god i'm eating everything you know and, um, then, you know, you, you lose some weight, and then everybody starts praising you, oh, you know, Courtney, you look so hot. And it's really gratifying for a little while, but you know what, with anorexia, there's this really brief window of time where you look good. Like, it's very, a short, short-lived thing. Um, because... You know, you're fast, and all of a sudden, you know, the fat is going away, but you still have fat in the right places, you still got a little bit of breasts, you got, you know, a little bit of curves and stuff. And then, uh, after a while, your ass cheeks start to look like deflated balloons. I'm not kidding. I think that they'll delete my uh, YouTube account if I make a video of this, but seriously, if you pinch my ass cheek, it stays like that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm about five foot three, eighty-eight pounds. And uh, when you pinch my ass cheek, it stays like that. <laughs> it, it it's a bizarre thing. I mean, you know, you all through high school, I was skinny. I, you know, it's just the girl who didn't have any breasts, didn't have any ass, and, you know, it's skinny. Could eat whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, but I swear, graduated from high school, went to college, and my body just was like, I hate you. Uh, I'm gonna store every single calorie you eat. And, you know, I don't know. I got a little bit depressed, and I started doing a lot of emotional eating, and my mother started telling me, oh, you're a fat ass, you know, you need to lose some weight, and, you know, it did. Courtney, your ass is getting so wide, and, you know, that made me feel really bad, so, um, I started having some dysfunctional eating habits, um, uh, namely bulimia, I would, and it, it wasn't this binge purge type deal, I definitely did not, you know, eat you know, the fucking candy store, and then vomit. I seriously, I would, I would eat a salad, and then I'd be like, oh god, I gotta throw up. All these damn calories. <laughs> yeah, it was retarded. And, uh, so, I, I lost weight, and I started getting tons of compliments. Everybody was just praising me. Oh, Courtney, you look great. You look great. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, come here. Let's have some sex. Um, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah, it, it felt really exhilarating then because, you know, I then I'd lose some more weight, still more compliments. And so it was definitely an addictive thing. And although I never really set out with the intention of becoming anorexic, it, it happened. I mean, it sneaks up on you and bites you in the ass, and before you know it, your butt cheeks look like deflated balloons. I mean, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, I look really bad, naked. <laughs> um, so at any rate, I started losing weight really, really quickly. Um, I mean, I, you know, I would lose like 10 pounds in a month, and, you know, when, when you weigh 100 pounds, and, you know, you drop down to 90, and then you're like, it, it's not good. So at any rate, I don't look sick, I don't think, but let me tell you, I freaking live in the doctor's office. Um, 
even though I don't look like, you know, those, you know, those anorexic twins that weigh like 60 pounds, um, even though I don't look like that, I don't weigh enough to have little soldiers in my blood um, to fight off infection. I have a extremely low white blood cell count and so I'm constantly in the doctor's office. I'm actually scheduled to have a bone marrow biopsy because you know, they <laughs> they're scared that it could be other things, you know. And I'm ashamed to tell them that this is anorexia. And sometimes I don't want to admit that it is. It started off innocently. I, I was dieting and I weighed about or I would eat about a thousand calories a day. Now I eat like, I eat like 700 now, but there's a period of time where I was fasting and where I would eat 300 calories a day or fewer, and, you know, at any rate, I have stopped menstruating. I don't have periods, which, I'm not gonna lie, that it's kind of nice. I like that. But, you know, I'm constantly cold. I'm constantly sick. I don't have enough energy. I feel like I'm gonna die. My ass cheeks look like deflated balloons. It's just, it's, you know, it's hard. It's really hard. And, you know, I'm scared because now I, I've made up my mind that this is serious and that I need to do something, but I can't bring myself to eat anything fattening. Like, I mean, I eat a lot. I, I eat a shitload. I eat 700 calories a day. That's a lot. And still it's not enough because I can't bring myself to eat fattening food. So I don't have enough body fat. I lift weights like a mofo. Like, look at that. Look at that. You see that? These aren't guns, baby. These are cannons. You know, I, you know, and it still isn't okay. I had no idea that things could escalate so quickly and that it could be such a downward spiral. I had no idea. And I don't know what to do. Anyway, guys, it's um, all for now. I will... Make another one of these babies later. Bye-bye.